Laser engraving used to be a very expensive hobby, with engraving machines setting you back well over a thousand pounds. Nowadays though, with many companies coming out with much more affordable machines, laser engraving can now become a very fun hobby that is readily available to the average consumer. This is the Sculpt Fun S6 Pro laser engraving machine, coming in at a price of just little over £200. This is a bargain for anyone looking to get into the engraving market. Not only that, but many people have brought these to create a viable home business to sell crafted items on sites like Etsy and eBay. Well, that's all good and well, but if it doesn't perform that cheap price range, well, it's going to mean nothing. So let's take a look at this product and unbox it. So in the box you get everything you need to get up and running. There is a reasonably long construction process, but I'll go over that as best as I can. The machine comes in a variety of sections, but they are labelled conveniently for you. You get a power brick, a data cable for connection to your PC, tightening and building tools, a pair of protective glasses, and the laser itself. This laser engraver has an ultra-thin 0.1mm engraving line, and this produces some fantastic results, as you will see later. Surprisingly, the user manual is very helpful and you don't always see this. I was able to build this with ease, it's very detailed. So the building process is a slightly long one and quite tedious, but it's reasonably easy. Just take your time and follow the instructions. What's really nice is the screws are packaged into stages for you, completely numbered in correspondence with the manual, so you only need to open a bag at a time and do the corresponding instructions. You're going to start off by adding the legs to the back beam. I'd suggest just don't tighten them all the way until the whole first stage is complete. Then all we're going to do is add the left and right beams to the back plate. Now you can give all your screws a good tighten. Now we're going to slide on the printing arm. This is very easy to do, it just glides along the right and left arms. Now we're going to add the front plate which goes on with ease as well. On the front the integrated power supply and controls acts as a supporting leg as well. So just bolt that into the front. Now we're going to add the tension belt which acts as the movement support for the engraving laser terminal. This just simply slides through the crack provided. You want to loop it over the printing arm and straight out the back leaving a bit hanging over. Do this for both sides. The hardest part of the installation for me was adding these bolts. They just seem to not go in well. They act as some kind of clamp for the belt to stay in place. You just have to push down really hard to enable it to bite down and lock in place. Now that's pretty much it. You can go ahead and add these adhesive tags. They aren't really essential but they do help with adding a bit more stability. Add the laser to the printing arm and just tighten it up with the bolts to keep it in place. We're going to be moving this up and down later anyway so don't over tighten it. Let's plug up everything. This is very simple as well, you really can't get this wrong. The lengths are right for each part. And that's it, installation done. I know I scanned over that quickly, but honestly you don't need a video to show you. The manual gives you a detailed guidance along with labelling everything for you. But nevertheless, there was a simple installation for you, so let's take a look at the device in all its glory. The machine can work with a range of materials. Wood, paper, cardboard, plastic, ceramics and more. The engraving area is huge with over 520 to 570 millimeters to play with. Now I'd suggest lowering that for stability and accuracy but nevertheless that is a fantastic engraving area. Now this is a very user friendly machine with very little work to be done to get this up and running. And that's why I say this is the perfect machine for beginners and enthusiasts alike. It has a very simple calibration procedure for when you're printing on different materials. Supplied is a small steel cylinder and this acts as your levelling tool. Obviously different materials you intend to cut on are going to have different thicknesses. Placing this underneath supplies the optimal distance between the laser head and the cutting material. Then you can just go ahead and tighten the bolts and you're good to go. So I'm using Lightburn. I personally think this is one of the better softwares on the market. It's very easy to use once you get the hang of it. When you first load up you're going to want to set up your machine but if you have it plugged in it should automatically detect it and go through the menu settings and take care of it for you. Just follow the instructions on the screen. Now it does depend on what you intend to use this machine for. I've done multiple things now and it's very much like I said earlier trial and error but once you get it save those settings you can just keep replicating it multiple times. So I'll start with laser engraving some plywood. 
This is quite simple and the settings are very much universal. Here I'm creating some plaques for a Doctor Who Sonic Screwdriver set I've been building. I'll start by drawing a simple plaque shape on the user face. Now you can measure the materials on the rulers provided on the machine to know just how big you want these. Once I've drawn one, I'll probably just copy and paste it for another one. And now I'm going to add some simple text on top. Now I tend to cut and engrave these in two stages and that allows me to check for errors. So I'm going to start with the engraving. So I delete the shapes I've drawn and I can undo this later. And because I only want the outline of the drawing, I'm going to set the line mode to just line. If you want it to be fully engraved, click fill. Now in terms of the settings, it's going to be a bit different for everyone. So if you just use scraps until you found the perfect optimal one, that's probably the best answer. I'm going to set mine to a speed of 900 with one pass. This is enough for a decent engrave on plywood. Now aligning isn't too hard either. I normally manually pull the printing head to the right corner of the material and set this to the set origin. You can press the fire button, which will start the laser at a very low power power to give you an indication of the starting point. Also you can press this frame button, this will create a frame around your material and give you an idea of where it's going to print. So click print and you should find everything goes to plan. To be honest, if you find it's not engraved enough, as long as you don't move the material at all, you can go ahead and print again, and that goes with cutting out as well. I'm not going to move the engraved material at all, because I want to cut it out as well. So I'm going to cut the outline of the plaques, and this is very simple to do. I undo what I did in the software, and just have the shapes available to me. I click on both shapes and go to edit, and go all the way down to convert to cut. I'm going to set this for three passes, at 400. After a couple of passes, we get through and we get our finished piece. I'm quite happy and impressed by the precision of the laser, but it doesn't stop there. I wanted to push the precision even further. So I thought, how would it work on stock fit card to create a unique engraved cut out business card? Now this is where I was pleasantly surprised. I grabbed this gold stone like effect card and began to engrave my information onto the card itself. I measured everything to a T and then began the cutting out stage as well. But as you can see, the precision of the cards is very impressive. It creates such a unique business card unlike any I've seen before. It's a very universal machine and you don't just have to stop at plywood and card. Bamboo is a much tougher material and as you can see here, it engraves itself with ease. Even down to the smaller lines. It's able to get great amounts of detail and precision. And this is going to come hand in hand when you want to engrave portraits. Whatever material you intend to use with this unit, I think you might be surprised at the quality and precision of the engraving and cutting out. It's pretty impressive for such a reasonable price. A laser engraver is a fantastic way of making money on the side. With sites like Facebook Marketplace, Etsy and eBay being cluttered with homemade goods, why not join in on the fun and make some personalised goods for fun and make some money on the side? All in all, for the price range, it is certainly a product to consider. So take a look at this product in the link in the description. Let me know what you think. And as always, till next time.